Welcome back to the show. Now we started off with highlights of the 410 sprints at Williams Grove from Friday. The victor in that race was Danny Dietrich. Also on the card for the evening were the 358 sprints. The front row consisted of the 35 of Tyler Esch and Scott Fisher in the 21. They are dead even at the line, but Fisher quickly pulls away going through turns one and two, while Phil Walter in the white number five rides the cushion to move into second. Fisher and Walter put on a great show over the next few laps. Walter would eventually take over the lead on lap six, although Fisher wasn't going down without a fight. Here he looks like he is able to retake the lead, but Walter was faster through the turns. The driver on the move was Kevin Nouse in the white number 4R. He started in the 12th position, yet was up to 6th by the 7th lap. Here he works the outside of Joey Galloway. By the halfway mark, Walter enjoyed a comfortable lead over Fisher. The complexion of the race changed on lap 13 when Walter slowed with overheating problems. This would hand the lead to Adrian Schaefer in the 27S. But he had his own problems to deal with, namely Kevin Nels, who was now in the second spot. Nels would dog Schaefer until the last lap when he makes a move to Schaefer's inside going into turn one. As they get back on the throttle, Nels is able to pull away from Schaefer. As they head towards turn three, Schaefer tries to mount one last charge. He rides the cushion, but it isn't enough to keep Kevin Nels from taking the checkers. Okay, congratulations on your win. Now, the, this 358 race was actually more exciting than most that I've seen. The lead was constantly changing. Were you expecting to win? <laughs> no, actually, I wasn't. Uh, I, I didn't. Well, I never expected to win it. Uh, even on the last lap, whenever I made the pass, it was it was really close, and uh, I, I never expected to win it until I got the lead. Once I got the lead off turn two, I figured we were pretty good. Okay, now Walters was in the five and he was doing pretty good and then all of a sudden he had his engine overheat and he slowed down. Uh, do you think that gave you an advantage? Yeah, well that, that definitely, he was going to win the race in my opinion. Uh, he was he was setting a pretty good pace and uh, you know he was out there pretty good and whenever he, whenever he slowed down it kind of bottled up second and third place and allowed me to catch up to them and then uh, from there it was, it was a lot of fun. It looked like a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun and this 358 class is a great class. Um, you know, car counts are kind of dwindling right now, and, and it needs to find its place again. But uh, this is a great division, great drivers in it. I really enjoy it. Okay, congratulations again. Thank you very much. Brock Zerfoss, Scott Fisher, and Tyler Esch round out the top five in the 358 sprints. Weather permitting, a number of tracks will kick off their 2014 programs this weekend. Yes, let's take a look at these scheduled and rescheduled openers. Openers for Friday include Bradford and Dog Hollow, which is under new management. Saturday is AMP, Hummingbird, the much-anticipated reopening of Jennerstown and Marion Center. And Sunday, we have the openers at Erie's and Sportsman's. Well, the sun is shining. It's a beautiful day today. Please let it be that way this weekend. Well, that will wrap things up for this week's show. Until next time, remember, if you want to contribute to the growth of our sport, quite simply support those who support racing. Pit Pass is brought to you by Milheim Small Engine, your local Husqvarna dealer, located just one mile west of Milheim. Pocono Raceway, the tricky triangle, Visit PoconoRaceway.com for tickets. Health South Nittany Valley Rehabilitation, the choice in stroke care.